It's a bit magical to be in a room surrounded by glowing glass. And it's actually history illuminated by hundreds of pieces, many dating back more than a century. Yes, this glass glows with a little help from black lights. The kids really enjoy it when you shut the lights off. Then they're like, wow, their eyes oh, wide, you know, get wide open. This museum is in the basement of the Hawley Antique Exchange, dedicated to what's called Vaseline glass. Vaseline for its yellowish color when the black lights are off. That yellow actually came from uranium, a revolutionary way to color the glass way back then. But turn on these black lights and the uranium glows. People don't understand, don't know. A member of a glass club came in and asked my husband, did we have any Vaseline glass? And we had never heard of it before. Ida Martin and her son Rick are now curators of all this glimmering glass, carrying on what her husband Eric started after that simple question 30 years ago. That was the beginning of the end for my husband. Whenever we traveled, we'd stop at every antique shop and any place we could find any Vaseline glass, we bought it. So it kind of became an obsession then with him? Oh, yes. <laughs> As they gathered more and more, they became more and more fascinated by the glow and wanted to share it with others, with a museum. It just developed into it, and this way people could enjoy it and see it. Even a set of dinnerware illuminates a table here, so people once ate off uranium-infused glass. But now we know a link between uranium and radiation. Is there a danger? The Martins actually had this space tested, turning up no concerns. My husband just loved it, so I feel so bad that he's not here yet to really enjoy it more. Eric Martin passed away in September, but his love of this luminescence lives on. You can experience it every Saturday from 11 to 4. John Meyer, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Wayne County.